welcome back to another anatomy video in this video we will talk about the sacral spine or the sacral vertebra or what's called the sacrum as you can see here this is the sacrum of the horse and in general the sacral vertebra they are completely fused with each other to form like a single bone called the sacrum. In the horse, there are five sacral vertebrae, as you can see here. This is on, so we can mostly, you know, identify them from the spinous processor. So this is one, two, three, four, five sacral vertebrae, as we said before, fused together to form this single bone is the sacrum. The same in the camel and ox for example, but in carnivores there are just three sacral vertebrae. They are fused together, but in general there are three vertebrae to form the sacrum. In sheep or small ruminant there are four sacral vertebrae. So let's look at this one here. So we'll go in general through the anatomical features of this one and after that we can compare this one with the, that one of other animals. Uh, as you can see here, uh, in general, uh, the sacrum has like a triangular shape. Uh, it has like a base or cranial extremity, caudal extremity, or in other words, we can name the cranial extremity all as a base. And this is the apex of the sacrum. We have the dorsal and the ventral surface of the sacrum, as you can see here. And of course, we have two lateral parts. So this is one, this is the other one. So two lateral parts. So again, cranial extremity or base, uh, caudal extremity or apex, ventral service, dorsal service and uh, lateral parts, lateral parts. Okay, let's, uh, in general, in general, uh, here we can find the spinous processes of the vertebra, the spinous processes of the vertebra, so here in the case of the horse we have five. Each spinous process end up with a small a rough uh, surface here, as you can see. And uh, in the ventral view, we can see how the bodies of the vertebrae are fused together. Between the bodies, exactly, if you can see these lines here, we can name them as the transverse lines between the vertebrae. So we have also four line, transverse lines, one, two, three, and four here. And uh, in the dorsal view, uh, we can uh, see the lateral sacral foramens. This is the lateral sacral foramens, while in the ventral, on, on each side of course, uh, while in the ventral view, we can see the ventral sacral foramens. As you can see, the ventral sacral foramens are bigger than that one of the uh, doors and sacral foramens. Ventral sacral foramens also on each side. In general, here in the horse we have five uh, ventral and dorsal and sacral foramens on each side and these foramens actually, they represent the intervertebral foramen which we talked about before intervertebral foramens between the adjacent vertebrae but in this case as uh, the vertebrae are fused together so they will form this foramen here and uh, we will name this foramen as dorsal and ventral sacral foramens uh, this is the exit place of the uh, sacral spinal nerves uh, uh, we we know that the sacral spinal nerve like other spinal nerves gives directly dorsal part branch and ventral branch so the dorsal branch comes here through the dorsal sacral foramen where the ventral branch exit the ventral sacral foramen good uh, let's go uh, to the cranial surface so in the cranial surface as you can see here we have uh, laterally these two big processes or we name them as um, la sacralis or the wings of sacrum the wings of sacrum 
here in the middle in the cranial uh, extremity we can see uh, the convex body or the cranial articular surface of the body and uh, we have the doors and arch there they form together this uh, canal we name this canal in all other parts of the spinal column as a vertebral canal here we can name it vertebral canal or uh, more exactly is the sacral canal sacral canal here in the cranial view we can see the two cranial articular services for the articulation with the caudal articular services of the last lumbar vertebra of the last ver uh, lumbar vertebra so again here we have the cranial articular processes while here and this is specifically just for the horse we have uh, like articular facets on the the wings of the sacrum for the articulation with the articular facets on the transverse process as we described in other video uh, of the last uh, lumbar vertebrae as you can see here they articulate with each other and this is the case just in the horse so we will look at others later okay so cranially on the wings of the sacrum we have uh, again we have this articular facets left and right on the dorsal surface of the wings here and there we have what's called the auricular surface or auricular uh, articular surface auricular articular surface looks like ear that's why we name it like auricular and this is for the articulation actually with the auricular surface of the ilium bone and I have here an uh, example of uh, of the sheep for example here uh, again this is the sacrum of the sheep and this is the auricular service of the wing of the sacrum if for the articulation let's look at this service of the ilium bone of the pelvis it looks like ear huh? it looks like ear. that's why we name it our auricular service so this is for the articulation with the wings of the sacrum like this here to form of course the sacroiliac joint sacroiliac joint okay good let's put it uh, to the side and go back to the horse so um, in the cranial view let's take to the cranial view one a little bit more if you look exactly and because of the shape of the doors and arch so the can the, the sacral canal is triangular shaped as you can see here the body of the sacrum is flattened uh, doors ventrally, doors ventrally, and the, the distal part of the cranial extremity of the body here uh, forms like a small projection called the promontory. The promontory, so we can talk about it later. Okay, and let's uh, now move uh, to the lateral view just to show you again the auricular articular service of the wing of the sacrum here for the articulation with the ilium of the pelvis this is the lateral border the lateral part of the sacrum and uh, here the ventrally let's go ventrally here of course we cannot see the ventral crest so the sacrum has no ventral crest and uh, we can see the transverse lines, we can see the ventral uh, sacral foramens and in some cases of course, in a lot of cases actually, you will find that the first uh, caudal vertebra is so also, also or fused with the sacrum but not in this case. So um, again, just for your information, four foramens, that means five vertebrae four foramens, five vertebrae. Good, so let's now go uh, and look uh, at uh, the differences between the different animal species. Let's put the horse to the side here and move directly to the sacrum of the ox. 
So the sacrum of the ox has also triangular shape as you can see with the base here, apex here. Uh, this is the wings of the sacrum with the auricular uh, service left and right here this is the cranial articular processes for the articulation with the cauda articular process of the last lumbar vertebra in the cranial view in the same way the body of the sacrum is flattened doors ventrally the sacral canal is also tri angular shape um, but let's uh, move to the lateral view in the lateral view here we can easily see how all spinous processes are fused completely together yeah let's uh, should i show you that one of the horse one more time look at the horse they are fused but uh, there are still some spaces between them and even the dorsal tubercle of the spinous processes are separated completely here the dorsal uh, projection of the spinous processes they are completely fused together to form what's called the median sacral crest the median sacral crest here in the middle and uh, on the lat lateral from the spinous processes if you look exactly here we can find another crest we name it in the ox as a bar, uh, sorry, intermediate, intermediate uh, uh, sacral crest, left and right, of course, intermediate sacral crest. It's uh, presents here, but not in the horse. Uh, okay, so we have also. It's not clear in this view, but we also have the uh, uh, the dorsal, yeah, there, uh, the dorsal. Uh, sacral foramens are somehow covered with the intermediate like a, a sacral crest uh, ventrally let's move to the ventral surface ventrally we can find the very big like ventral sacral foramens how many sacral uh, ventral sacral foramens do we have one two three four and that means how many sacral vertebrae does the sacrum in the ox has? Yes, four foramens means five vertebrae. Here between the you know in the between the vertebrae we can we, we still be able to see the transverse lines, you know which represents actually the disc between the uh, the, the vertebrae. But as we said before, the bodies are completely fused uh, together, together exactly. So. Um, Caudally, caudally, of course, the same even in, 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 in the horse, we have uh, the caudal articular services for the articulation with the first caudal vertebra. Um, so let's move now to the camel and look at the camel. So this is the sacrum of the camel, uh, again the same way it has also like triangular shape, uh, it's more wider caudally. Uh, we have the wings here with the auricular articular service, uh, we have the cranial uh, articular processes. Uh, this is how that, sorry let's move it here in the same way. The body is also flattened, triangular sacral canal. Uh, everything looks exactly the same like that one of the ox for example here we have some differences of course we have we have the ventral sacral uh, foramens again one two three four that means we have one two three four five sacral vertebrae but if you look so I, I, I try to look at different camels and I was always able to see this separation here between the body of the last sacral vertebrae and the sacral vertebrae number four so uh, the fifth sacral vertebrae is fused yeah but there still be you know there there, there are some separation here uh, which we cannot find in other animals so if you find something like this here it means perhaps you know uh, it's a camel camel sacrum or the sacrum of the camel here we have also small opening uh, but uh, not clear so good
otherwise it looks exactly like that one of the uh, of other animals here of course if we want to compare this one with the ox uh, again uh, here we cannot find the median sacral crest the median sacral crest in the camel it's very clear in the ox even the intermediate sacral crest is also not present in the camel not even in the horse and uh, here if we look at the lateral view of the camel again yeah the spinous processes are also some somehow you know a divide not fused completely like that one of the ox not like that one of the ox. okay and now let's look at that one of the sheep uh, the sheep uh, as we described before the sacrum has uh, four sacral uh, 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 vertebra so look at the transfer uh, at, at the spinous processes so we have one two three four if we are not you know sure hundred percent let's look at the foramen so if we go to the ventral service here we can see one two three sacral uh, ventral sacral foramen uh, three it means we have four uh, sacral and now let's move to the uh, to the dog. In the dog, as you can see here, comparing to other animals, the dog, uh, uh, the sacrum of the dog is more uh, quadrilateral uh, in form. As you can see here, consists of three sacral vertebrae, and that's why ventrally here we have just two foramina or foramens, the ventral sacral foramens two. That means we have three, as we said, you know, the, the foramen represents uh, the intervertebral foramen. So intervertebral be between the vertebra. So that means this foramen is between this and this, and this is between this and this. That means we have three sacral vertebra. They are fused completely to form this single bone, the sacrum of the dog. In the lateral view again, of course, in general, um, yeah, the shape is a little bit like quadrilateral form uh, comparing to the other animals. We still have the base or the cranial extremity, the caudal extremity here. We have uh, the uh, cranial articular processes. We have also the auricular face here, auricular articular face for the articulation with the ilium and uh, we have the lateral part the spinous processes are fused here together and here dorsally we have the dorsal sacral foramens so that's everything about the sacrum and uh, yeah in, in all animals if you look actually you will find that the sacrum is slightly uh, slightly like uh, let me put it in the lateral view exactly so in all animals is slightly like curved is slightly curved with the spinous processes directed caudally caudally so slightly curved here and continuous caudally with the caudal vertebra so that's everything about the sacrum so see you in the next uh, video Bye for now.